Hi folks and welcome to Shake Happens. Spring has finally sprung here in Northwest Ohio, or at least it feels like it. I know they're calling for frost a couple days from now, but I think the bad stuff is finally behind us. I was recently at the local farm store and they got a shipment of trees in. I think I shared in a vlog that I did pick up some white pine. Well, I did buy a few more. The price was right. These were just around seven dollars and then they had burning bushes on sale for nine and a half bucks and I absolutely love these things especially in the fall so I had to jump on them so anyway this is going to be a project here in a couple days to get all these planted but right now we're going to head to the garden shed to get some seeds going Our normal plant weekend for the, for the main garden is about three weeks away. So what I'm going to do is, I know a lot of you guys have been on this, started on this weeks ago, maybe even a couple months ago. Of course you're in different regions of the United States, but I'm finally going to get these uh, starter trays going. At least with some jalapenos, some bell peppers, tomato plants, and maybe some uh, zucchini. Get these filled up, get them seeded, at least get a start on. And then once I get this first uh, tray all done, seeded, labeled, ready to go, I'm just going to set it in front of the window here in the shed, put the plastic clear lid on it, and this is probably where it's going to sit for the next two weeks. We'll see how the, how the plants look, and I'll continually keep them watered. I know it shouldn't get below freezing in the shed moving forward. They'll get some sunlight. I think we'll be all right. I think the first thing I'm going to do is just water these first four trays uh, of six each to get the two varieties of bell pepper seeds in. Then I'll move on to the next ones. All right, I got the bell peppers in and some tomato seeds in. Next, I'm going to work on zucchini, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that last row yet. We'll see. All right, I got my first seed started of the year for the garden. I went ahead in this last row put jalapeno seeds in. So I'll come out here every day, give them a little spritz of water, and see how they do. Behind me here is a patch of ramps, just behind the house. I thought about doing a whole video on these. Uh, it's a wild edible. And it's a cross between a garlic and a green onion. It's like the best of both worlds. Here's what they look like. And if you're lucky enough to find these around your area, I strongly suggest you do a little bit of research on them and see if you can harvest some. You can eat these cooked, you can eat them raw, you can eat the stalk, you can eat the stem, the bulb, the leaf. Everything on here is edible, either cooked, sauteed, or raw. Check them out. Check out wild leeks or ramps. See if they're in your area. This is something really cool to be able to harvest in the springtime. Especially if you got some more old mushrooms to go along with them. Well, I've been messing around with seeds. Lori's been working on a lot of the flower beds. This is a little sitting area by the house that will uh, get spruced up and planted here pretty soon. And she was working on this section of the landscaping as well. I turned down her music so I could talk and, well, some of you probably would have rather had the music going. 
Thanks for joining me here today on Shit Happens. I just thought I'd put up a real quick video on it's springtime here in Northwest Ohio. We're finally getting out and being able to do a few things around the yard, some landscaping, get some trees planted, and kind of pre get the garden going. I thought I'd film it and share. If you enjoy this channel and the content in it, please consider subscribing.